The Sony Xperia 1 Mark II comes with a 6.5 inch display that has a 4K resolution. It's a HDR OLED panel. However, the company has included a new feature that will allow for a 90Hz effect on the screen, but it doesn't seem to use an actual 90Hz panel. Sony's latest flagship phone features a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top edge. The design is glass on the front and back, both of which are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6 technology, and it will come in either black or purple. It also has a full bezel at the top rather than a notch or punch hole. Inside the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, there's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, which is one of the very best processors on the market. It offers some strong performance and be able to cope with all the tasks that most other top-end phones can do. The phone comes with 8GB of RAM to keep it running. Storage-wise, you have got 256GB of space to play with here, and that's expandable with a microSD card. 5G is one of the big talking points of Xperia 1 Mark II, there's no 4G only variant of this phone. The camera is another area Sony's put a spotlight on. The camera includes a 12 megapixel main sensor, a 12 megapixel telephoto one with 3x optical zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, alongside a 3D time of flight sensor that will offer groundbreaking autofocus technology. It's using a technology that Sony developed for its Alpha range of cameras, and the aim here is to give you the best shot through stronger autofocus. This technology can completely autofocus and auto exposure calculations at 60 frames per second, while the camera itself can take 20 shots in burst mode each second. But Sony claims it improves autofocus for low light conditions as well as in everyday shooting. The phone can also record video in 4K HDR at up to 60 FPS. Pictures are amazing with this camera with its stunning dynamic range and color accuracy. On the front of the phone, there's an 8 megapixel selfie camera, and Sony announced they have made significant improvements for front facing shots. Sony has also made some big improvements to the battery on this device by increasing it to 4000 mAh on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II, up from 3330 mAh on the Xperia 1. There's also fast charging here that will allow for up to 50% charge in 30 minutes. It has a 6.78 inch display that packed with many features to enhance your viewing experience. It has a ultra HD resolution with 10 bit color, a variable 120Hz refresh rate and a 240Hz touch input rate. There is also a post ultra vision engine chipset which can automatically upgrade 60fps video to 120fps to fit the screen rate. These features combine to deliver a screen that's vibrant and which should display content beautifully. There's no 3.5mm headphone jack here, so fans of wired headphones will be disappointed. The phone is IP68 protected though, so it's safe from dust and water to a high degree. There's plenty of reason to believe the Oppo Find X2 Pro will be a processing powerhouse. It's got the top-end Snapdragon 865 chipset and 12GB of RAM. The Snapdragon chipset endows the Find X2 Pro with super-fast 5G connectivity, as it has a 5G modem built-in. Oppo told us there won't be a 4G-only X2 handset. The Oppo Find X2 Pro has three rear cameras, two of which are 48 megapixel sensors, the main camera and an ultra wide snapper, while the third is a 13 megapixel telephoto snapper. This shooter has the same lens as the zoom module of the Oppo Reno 10x zoom, so it supports 5x optical, 10x hybrid, and 60x digital zoom. There are a few interesting features Oppo has included, such as the phone's ability to capture raw images. Raw files capture more brightness and color information than regular JPEG images, giving you more scope to process them in editing software. And an autofocus system based on Sony's alpha cameras, there is also 4K video recording at up to 60fps. On the front of the phone, there is a 32MP front facing camera in the cutout segment. Overall, the Find X2 Pro produces excellent exposure and captures a good amount of detail, even in overcast weather. Colors are accurate and lean more towards the realistic side rather than being oversaturated. In terms of battery life, you are getting a 4260 mAh pack, which would normally be pretty generous for a flagship phone. Although because of the large screen and high-end display tech, it may not actually last very long. The Oppo Find X2 Pro uses Oppo 65W fast charging, which will apparently get the device from empty to 100% in 35 minutes or less. iPhone 11 Pro Max smartphone was launched in September 2019. The phone comes with a 6.5 inch Super Retina XDR OLED touchscreen display with 83.7% screen to body ratio. It is powered by Apple A13 Bionic 7nm processor, it comes with 4GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the iPhone 11 Pro Max on the rear packs triple camera setup, consisting of a 12MP main shooter and a 12MP telephoto lens and a 12MP ultra-wide lens. 
There are two cameras on the front for selfies. One is a 12 megapixel camera and another time of flight 3D camera. This device is based on iOS 13 and packs 512 GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by a 3969 mAh battery with 18W fast charging support. It was launched in space grey, silver, gold and midnight green colors. The P40 Pro features a quad curve overflow display with curved glass at all four edges. There are still very thin bezels at the top and bottom. The 6.58 inch screen on the Huawei P40 Pro has a resolution of 1200 by 2640. Huawei has increased the refresh rate of the screen to 90Hz which is faster than the 60Hz of its previous phones but not quite as fast as competing handsets like the S20 and Oppo Find X2 Pro that offer a 120Hz display. The Huawei P40 Pro is powered by the same Kirin 9905G chipset that we have seen in the Mate 30 Pro 5G and Huawei's folding phone, the Mate XS. This is based on 7nm manufacturing technology and is plenty fast enough to keep up with the latest flagship phones. The processor is teamed up with 8GB of RAM and also currently the only high-end chipset with integrated 5G, meaning it will work well with the dedicated 5G networks of the future as well as with the current hybrid LTS slash 5G networks. If there's one thing that has made Huawei's P-series phones stand out from the crowd, it's the camera tech. The P20 and P30 handsets raised the bar when it came to the mobile photography and Huawei is looking to raise it higher again with the P40 Pro. On the rear section, the Leica branded camera setup composed of a 50 megapixel primary and 40 megapixel ultra wide cameras and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera that's capable of 5x optical zoom or 50x digital zoom. There's also a time of flight sensor for creating bokeh effect in portrait mode shots. With the P40 series, Huawei is debuting its X Diffusion engine, which uses AI to optimize your photos. Huawei was one of the first manufacturers to get on board with AI and the results on the P40 Pro are impressive. The phone can remove friends from a picture and even reflections that appear when you are trying to photograph anything that's behind a glass. The P40 Pro also features impressive zooming capabilities and Huawei isn't shy talking about that. Low light photography has been a strong point for Huawei and the P40 Pro doesn't disappoint on that front. The P40 Pro's rear camera layout is capable of shooting Ultra HD 4K video at up to 60 frames per second, as well as super slow motion at up to an eye-watering 7680 fps. Both modes are available on the ultra wide and wide cameras. Up front is a 32 megapixel selfie shooter backed up by laser guided autofocus. The 32 megapixel selfie shooter is able to capture lots of detail and color in almost all lighting conditions. The Huawei P40 Pro is equipped with a 4200 mAh battery, which should last you a full day of moderate to heavy uses. It supports 40 watt fast wired charging as well as wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is Samsung's biggest Android phone and it lives up to its name. It is the first Samsung phone with a 120Hz display, which is designed to deliver smoother motion when you are scrolling and especially playing games. You can also toggle between 60Hz and 120Hz in settings, which will come in handy if you want to save battery life. Samsung's 6.9 inch display will push the boundaries of your finger's reach, but it won't feel much bigger than the S10 Plus. Its width is actually a little smaller than the 6.8 inch Note 10 Plus, and 6.7 inch Galaxy S10 5G. It's just that the Galaxy S20 Ultra is noticeably taller, not wider, expanding to a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. You can still grip it with one hand and shove it in a deep enough jeans pocket. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is made of glass and aluminium and it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6. The specs of this smartphone rival the likes of laptops meaning it's more than you will ever need. The internal specs are all top of the line, a 7nm chipset, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in the US or Samsung's Exynos 990 in the UK and Europe, 16GB of RAM, 512GB of internal storage and a microSD card slot for expandable storage. The app's performance are silky smooth. The S20 Ultra isn't a pure gaming phone but it matches the Asus ROG Phone 2 and Razer Phone 2 with a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The S20 Ultra has a 108MP 1.8 aperture main camera, a 48MP 3.5 aperture telephoto camera and a 12MP 2.2 aperture ultra wide camera. 
There's also a time of flight depth camera on the back, aiding portrait photos and 3D scans, and a 40 megapixel selfie camera on the front. It's Samsung's biggest camera sensor upgrade since the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. The main 108 megapixel camera delivers great quality pictures with stunning details. The camera performed well in almost every light condition. The telephoto lens is capable of 10x lossless zoom and a crazy 100x space zoom. Pictures from the selfie camera delivers great dynamic range and quality. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra camera introduces 8K resolution video recording and steady stabilization. 8K is going to allow you to crop and edit video without sacrificing quality, while the 4K will give you more frame rate and zoom options. Samsung super fast charging returns on the S20 Ultra up to 45W with an optional charger and 25W with the charger included in the box. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging. Samsung equipped this phone with a massive 5000mAh battery, which is the biggest in a Galaxy S series device. Samsung Galaxy S20 has a lot of potential. Samsung promised something amazing will happen in 2020 and here it is.